Well guys, I was cutting down this here tree. I got most of it down. One limb I cut was over on this side here and it, it was a pretty big one and it fell and it sprung back. And uh, I was standing on this ladder and it was coming at me and I moved out the way and one of the solar panels I had on this stack uh, took it. So we've got a casualty. I was actually curious these are sun power panels that have the sun power cells. They're top of the line cells in it. So I was curious, I actually wanted to stand one of these up and one that's not damaged. And I'd like to see what the difference in power output is. Now I definitely don't recommend putting a broken panel up on your house or anything like that. But for projects, it probably would be perfectly fine. You know, if you just had one or a few maybe. But anyways, we're going to test that. All right, guys, I got them both set up here. Uh, the broken one is here. As you can see, there's the broken one. And it, it is shattered. Of course, it's tempered glass, so it shattered the whole thing all the way from top to bottom. I don't know if you can see that. And then I've got the non-broken one over there. And it is currently hooked up to... Uh, Victron Smart Solar 130 uh, Bluetooth and uh, so let's take a look and see what it is producing these are 435 watt panels by uh, Sun Power and uh, we're getting 403 I saw 405 just a second ago there's 405 Voltage is at uh, around 64 and 6.3 amps coming out of the panel. It's around 403, 405. So let's hook up the broken one and see what it does. I switched the controller over to the broken one. And so it's pretty bright out today. Let's take a look and see. <laughs> 352 340 I totally saw 352 is it really not by much it's still doing quite well for it to be damaged and shattered and this is the thing that's that Sun Power claims is that they can take damage to their cells and still produce a lot and um well, I think, I think that's true. Look, 360, 360 watts, 361. That's impressive, actually. Because um, that kind of damage right there, I think it really would have really cut the output of a regular panel substantially, you know. Like, that cell would have been really just shredded. But it's still doing its thing I think I just saw 364 so I think the high let's say the high we've seen here is 360 let's just say 360 and the other was what 405 so let's just do some math here the broken one is 88.8 percent .8 of what the new uh, what the good one is still quite usable thing I, uh, I guess I'd be concerned about the the weather getting in soaking in through these brakes what does it do over time um, you know I think some people put some kind of liquid on here to seal this kind of thing like some people do buy broken panels but uh, I don't know it, it loses a lot of structural integrity if you, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. Try to see back here. But there's a lot. I mean, it just it's kind of like flexing a whole lot now. I can push it easily. So I feel like even if you seal this, the wind over time is going to just kind of flex it enough to open it back up and allow water back in. 
Uh, so yeah, there you go. I mean, have you guys had good luck using uh, broken shattered panels? What do you usually get? I'd like to, I'm interested in knowing. And I don't know what to do with this. I mean, I really would normally just throw it away, but it seems like it's got some use. All right, guys, I guess that's going to be it for the video. I just want to do a little quick comparison of this broken panel versus a non-broken one. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.